like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. It's the only way I'll know what really happened. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense, judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. These road signs are intact, not a scratch on them. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road.
Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? That's all the information. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. road signs were damaged, two of them torn and burnt. The fire damaged both the car and the tree heavily.
How could the signs have burned during the crash then? Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out? I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again.
The last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's... it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm with the doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Well, I mean... Uh, this is a real crazy day we're having, huh, Joe? I knew you wouldn't be any help. You always let her walk all over you. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong. But she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should she's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Anna and I spend our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. Anna never got rid of this sign. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. I want everything.
everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No! You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. I've never even had my car broken into. It's hard to imagine how she feels. Hannah always was more interested in people than cold hard facts. Not surprised Anna keeps this letter. I'd keep it too. Anna, 
has to be helping her dad out with these. I'm not sure it's enough. Anna always wanted to take me to concerts. They were just never my thing. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Punk broke in here, wrecked it. There. I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Finally, there. Making a drink for Anna would be a good way to show her you're here for her. She's not gonna want something cold. Always said cold drinks are for parties. Even when he messed up, Nick always found the right words. Anna's favorite band. Smooth as always, Nick. Anna always wanted to visit France. 
But life is just too strange for me there. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. Here's where she keeps the drinks. She used to drink this every day in middle school. Brings her back to being 10. Her go-to soft drink. She actually likes to drink this stuff straight. Could do. Don't stress about what drink you bring her. It's just bringing it that matters. People in film noirs always offer a stiff drink in times like this. Might work. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? What are you waiting for? Bring it to her already. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though? Stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Chocolate helps everyone feel better. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just, this is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just a lot. I, I used to feel safe here, and now... Sorry, I just... Thanks, Sam. It's all right. A lot has happened in the last few hours. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah, I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. She needs support, something solid. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in. It was nice. But lately, he just closed himself off. 
He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house, it's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? Face it, Sam. If you had paid attention, you'd have known she wasn't going to say yes. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. She's feeling guilty about what happened. She shouldn't bear that burden alone. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I closed people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and... Well... We'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. I saw you still have some of my old things. <laughs> well, it's not like you left a forwarding address. Careful. Don't put her on the spot. No, I mean, it's nice. I thought you would have thrown them out by now. Sam, those things are memories. Tossing them out would be like erasing the past. I guess I'm just sentimental. Anyway, if you want any of it back, you know where it is. I saw that letter you got from the kid in the school art show. Oh, yeah. It was just a local fluff piece I wrote forever ago. A primary school art show? Doesn't sound like hard-hitting material. You're gonna scold me on how to hit hard with news. <laughs> I wanted to focus on the little people for once, not the latest scandal. I was just surprised. That kid seemed really grateful. Sounds like you gave him the confidence to put himself out there. Who knows? 
Maybe he'll go on to be a painter. Honestly? I hope so. Sometimes all people really want is for someone to take an interest. I saw all those medical bills. How's your dad holding up? He lost his insurance when the mine closed. It's been rough. Were there any programs or anything that might help? There are. They help. Some. Not enough. More bills always keep coming in. I got to the point where I considered selling the house. But then Nick pitched in. Anyway, not something I want to think about right now. Yeah. Sorry. I imagine Joan spent some time here with her dad. Was she over a lot? Pretty much every time Nick had her. Yeah, I don't think she ever really warmed up to me. It's hard to tell with Bug, but I'm sure she likes you just plenty. <laughs> How do you figure? Well, she's stubborn, opinionated, and not afraid to say what she means. She didn't tell me she hated you, so she probably likes you. And right now, she'd probably want your support. I'm aware. I know how hard it is to lose a parent at her age. I'm sorry to be prying, but I saw the post-it notes. Oh, that... It... It was stupid. It was one of those fights over nothing. Everything... I don't even know now. It all seems so far away. We didn't fight often, but when we did, it got bad. Really bad. You mentioned before that it reminded you of us? No, no. That was more how distant Nick got. Before, we used to fight once in a while, and that would be it. But lately, he was constantly on edge. You know, we always followed that same stupid ritual after a fight. We'd write these silly post-it notes just as a way to make up. It worked. Most of the time. Is it just me, or are you a better listener than you were? It's just you. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. As far as Bug was concerned, this was her real house. I remember taking this photo. God, seeing it like this. Not what Anna needed. If her week wasn't bad enough already, I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here?
This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Come on, work, you piece of junk! I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. I remember taking this photo. Seeing it like this, it's not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date.
Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nyx? Someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird, loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't... Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns? I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Hello? Yeah? Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Uh, I'm starting to get worried. Sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go! Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. What's it doing here? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. 
Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug, just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Uh, don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No. I'm running away because things are so great. Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. I'm here now, Bug. I have your back. I promised you I would look into your father's death, and I'm doing it. I'm here now, Bug. Listening. I was there in the parking lot, listening. Yeah, well, but you're just gonna leave again. Another two years? Forever? I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah. They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just 
feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? You like insects. How about someone who studies them? Would you like to be an entomologist? Go around the world, collecting bugs? You remember? Yeah, bugs are cool. That does sound fun. You can leave Basswood that way, but you can't do it without finishing school. It won't be easy, but it's better than just wandering out in the dark. Focus yourself on your goals. I know your father would be proud of that. Look, I'm gonna find out what really happened to him, okay? And you and I, we'll figure this out. About what's next for you, about your mom, life. I need you to trust me. I need you to give me some more time. A few days. You have a few days. Do you want me to drive you back home? No, it's fine. I need to take my bike back anyway. I'll see you later. All right? I promise. For real this time. I'm gonna hold you to that. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town... Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. This record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. Stone Cold Killer walks the streets of Basswood. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Don't see the keys. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. 
We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? There used to be a calendar right here. Why'd he take it down? Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Nick wasn't the type to remember passwords. He probably left himself a reminder. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Man, Bug certainly grew up faster than I realized. She's gotten pretty mature now. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home, and always locked up. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right, I think I went through everything here. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. I 
I just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this lock. Let's see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Richard, a.k.a. Dicky, a.k.a. D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dicky, Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dicky set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood Jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That's what a sane person does. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? I don't have any great ideas. But I know I'll do what I have to do. <laughs> At least we're equally clueless. There's comfort in that. Yeah. I hate feeling like the only one in the dark. The dark isn't as spooky when someone else is with you. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. 
This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. Real life isn't as clear as the world in your head. No, the more you poke around, the more likely the world pokes back. And whoever is involved in all this, they poke real hard. If that even makes any sense. That's rough. That's rough? Were you even listening to me? Uh, mostly. Mostly. Sam, what is with you? Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting brained by burglars. And now we're riding sh That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice. Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? We're look. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? Definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? We're looking for Dickie. Yes, Anna told me. She's not gonna help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it. As long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you, of all people, would understand. 
I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? What kind of donations? Food and clothes, mostly. But jobs are hard to come by these days. We must rely on the kindness of others, even if their kindness comes and goes in waves. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. I see you're back. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. Clock's ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dicky is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dicky. Ain't no one gonna throw Dicky to the wolves, Nark. Dicky could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. What's up? You a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wayne, you're that fucking reporter! 
I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. <laughs> That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. What happens if I don't? I shatter your fucking face. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice. I told you to buzz off, Peckerwood. I guess that explains how he ended up here. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. Ow! Watch it! The place is full of wood shavings. And why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Fair enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. And creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else? That's as close to real magic as we can get. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dickie. I don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I know enough to make... What do you want now? You're Ethan's sister, right? was his sister. How do you stop being someone's sister? He tried to make every decision in my life. Same as the rest of my old family. Though Ethan was by far the most suffocating. I didn't like who I was when I was around him. I didn't like either of us. So you two don't ever talk to each other anymore? Not really. Well, the last time we did, I ended up coming here. Maybe was his sister was harsh. You can tell him we've talked, if you gotta. It's probably time I leave you alone. Hey, you're probably right. They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting.
I'll see you're back. Tyler said Nick came here before. What did he want? He took an interest in my people. He wanted to know their stories. Such as? Sam. Well, the long, sad stories most people do not want to hear. We all stumble during our lives. Knowing how we fall and how some make it out can provide guidance for the future, don't you think? What about opioids? Do you say anything about that? There are no drugs here, Samuel. To stay, you must remain clean. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. No one gonna throw Dickie to the wolves, Nark. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer. Dickie's unlikely to be here. No quad parked out front, and no one seems to be home. No quad. And it's right next to another mobile home. It's not here. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a visit. I only know you by reputation, but what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivan around here however you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. Scarier men than you have tried. You should get out of my way. I crack your skull wide open, you little bitch. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me, but I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp, far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. If they're in a panic, they might not see me hiding under this. Flammable lacquer and varnish. This thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. It's out of the way, so no one should get hurt, but there will be lots of chaos. I just need to work out the exact details. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. These shavings would be perfect kindling. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. 
I can get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract, but small enough to be manageable. Don't want to see the whole place go up in flames. Pre-Socratic philosophy. Dog-eared and well-read. I saw this picture in Ethan's bar, only intact. Guess I know who's been cut out. sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. She won't like how this goes down, but it's the only way. said this place could go up like a bunch of kindling. No other option. He had a fire extinguisher in his van earlier. Need to take care of it. Ain't no one gonna throw Dickie to the wolves, Nark. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. Ain't no one gonna throw Dickie to the He had a fire wolves, extinguisher Mark. in his van earlier. I need to take care of it. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. trailer. I need a distraction. Not a concern. Sand is effective against fire, but not that effective. No use. They won't let me anywhere near his trailer. I need a distraction. He had a fire extinguisher in his van earlier. I need to take care of it.
It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. I've got everything I need, but I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. Hey, uh, Anna, can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Setting the bear statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work, but it's critical I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. I'll have to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long. First step, the statue goes up in flames. This will get everyone's attention. the trailer before they put the fire out and notice I'm gone. do it. No one will see me get to Dickie. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. Help! Something's wrong with the 
be right there. Just hold on. Hurry! Hurry! Here, the fire is burning! Leela, calm down. It will be okay. We're so hard on it. I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just wanna take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. He was gonna pin us to the wall. I don't have time. What did you steal? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on. Just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm fit. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what happened. So? Oh, hell, man. Declan made me set up a meet with Nick, all right? I, I thought they were just gonna talk his shit. Nick freaked out when he saw Declan. He, he tried to bail. But Declan caught up and hit him behind the head. Then Nick dropped, man. He dropped like that. Declan said he didn't mean to. He said it was an accident and shit. He killed Nick. I didn't know, man. You gotta believe me. I never wanted... Man, he didn't... He didn't say... Hey, ass wife. Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You've had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain all right. So I'm gonna give you my rifle. We're leaving. God damn it, woman! 